Hi and welcome to an ideal calibration how to calibrate your gas detector series video. Today we're looking at the Zam 5600 uh, and this is a special unit that we've got that is actually it's not set up for the standard four gases like we usually do. This one's going to be set up for CL null hydrogen so it's a CO that is sensor that is hydrogen resistant as well as a hydrogen sensor so it shows both on this unit. Uh, it's a little different to calibrate versus some of the other ones, so I thought this would be a good one for us to go through. So let's get it started up, and then in the meantime, uh, and then while that's happening, we can talk about some of the other equipment. Uh, first thing we're going to do is hold this button here on the right. It'll beep and go into startup mode. And we'll pop that down there for now while it's starting up. Uh, next thing you do, make sure you have your calibration cradle with this tubing attached. Uh, if you don't have the tubing, this uses special tubing. Uh, it's usually standard tubing. It's about eighth inch on the internal. This is about quarter inch uh, that it needs to fit onto this here. So make sure you, you've got that on there right. And a 0.5 liter per minute regulator, as well as two cylinders of calibration gas. We have 100 parts per million CO here uh, with an expiration date that we're, we're well within as well as a 500 part per million hydrogen, again, with an expiration date or well within. So, and CO and hydrogen, you don't really have to worry about fades so much, but you know, it's still, still a good idea. You want to make sure all your expirations are good. So right now you can see we're reading 0 and 0 on here, but we're going to go through and we're going to do a cal calibration on it. So in order to do that, we had to get it inside this cradle. So the first thing you have to do is take this boot off. So the way you do that, pop this out, pull it through there, and then take this and just kind of slide it out there. And we'll put this off to the side for now. Okay, got that there. Now, let's go ahead and put it in calibration mode. And to do that, press and hold this button on the left for a couple seconds. And the screen will change. And you're going to see 000. zero, zero. Now the code is 0, zero 001. So we're going to acknowledge the first digit, acknowledge the second digit, increment the third, and acknowledge. And now we're in zero in cal mode. So first thing we want to do is we're going to zero this unit. So to do so, we're going to hit OK. Now you can see it shows all the sensor channels are zero. You see how there's an extra one here? So there's H2, then there's CO, and then H2. And what's going on there is there isn't any extra sensor that's within the CO sensor that actually detects hydrogen and it cancels it out from the monitor so that it doesn't screw up the CO sensor. So let's acknowledge that and say it's good on zero. Press OK. Now it's going to go through. You don't have to press any button here. And now it's got we either do the one cal or the full cal. Let's go down. We're going to start with the full. So increment using this button. And now let's go ahead and hit OK and it's going to tell us what sensor we're going to do first. Okay, it looks like we're doing hydrogen. So let's get that out of the way first. First things first, go ahead and we're going to slide this in to the cradle and now push it down. And it'll make that weird click sound and that's how you know you did it right. So let's get our hydrogen. It's right here. Open up the valve as usual on the regulator. Now screw it in. go now it's locked in go ahead and close the valve and let's run our tubing there we go good deal okay you can see it shows zero now we're going to turn our gas on That's okay, and I always get this started a little early. It'll it'll tell you on the screen what it's actively reading right now, but this doesn't affect the calibration. Uh, but I like to do it just to give me an idea of where the sensor is before I go into the calibration. So it's getting up right right around 500. Uh, I mean, this isn't definitive, but if it's way off, I like to look at this here just because it lets me know, like, hey, something's going on here. Uh, this is close enough, so 490, that's just fine. Let's press OK. One more time. There we go. Now, it says 500 parts per million. That's the calibration gas it's looking for, which is what we have here. And press OK. So now this is showing, again, what the sensor is actively reading right now. So we're just going to say OK, and it's going to change from 490 up to that 500. OK, so that means it's calibrated this to 500. Good deal. You can turn this gas off now. 
Now it's asking for CO. So we're going to pop this regulator off. And we've got enough time here. This, this system doesn't really rush you like some of the other ones do. It gives you a good long time to go through this process. So Let's get this cylinder on. This is our 100 part per million CO mix. And then once that's on, I just kind of leave it on. And you can see on here, you'll watch this, we'll start going up. There we go. And we're just watching this ahead up. And so this isn't far enough, uh, far off. It's going to slow down right around 100. I can kind of tell from the speed it's going up right now. Uh, so you, you can watch this stabilize if you want to. There's, you don't really need to. Uh, as long as you have enough time totally, uh, total time on there for the calibration, you'll be okay. So we're going to press OK here. One more time. So now it's asking for 100. We've got the 100 parts per million mix here, so we're all good. Go ahead and press OK. So now it shows you what it's reading right now. You can see this has actually gotten up all the way to 100, and it's st stalling there. So generally, you want to let a calibration go with the gas on here for about a minute or so, a minute and a half. Uh, just, what you're really looking for is the sensor to stabilize. So once you feel it has, press OK. Again, now we're OK. Turn this gas off. And now it's back to hydrogen. So the first sensor that we were calibrating was actually the hydrogen sensor itself. This is the hydrogen sensor that's part of the CO sensor. So this is part of that sensor uh, that tells it, hey, this is how many points of hydrogen that you should remove from the CO reading so that it doesn't show the cross sensitivity. It's actually a pretty cool little system that Draeger's put together here. Works really well. OK, now you can see we're still open. Gas is flowing. We'll watch this one's going to start going up. And there it is. Okay, good deal. Looks like it's stolen right around 500. Perfect. That's okay. We're going to hit OK here. One more time. Now it says this is the 500. That's the calibration guess we got. Good deal. Press the button. OK, it says it's showing about 480 right now. So it's probably been a little bit less. Well, I like, so I'll just give it another couple seconds here. Stabilize. And it looks like it's getting pretty close. There we are. Now we're going to press OK. Complete the calibration. Good deal. So that's OK. We're going to turn our gas off now. Now you can see it shows the alarm here. But what we're going to do now is pop this out. Press that little button. And now we can put this gas off to the side. Put the cal adapter out of here. OK, so now it's coming down. You can acknowledge the alarm if you want. It'll silence it for a moment or two. And you just want to watch this and make sure it gets back down to zero. OK? Perfect. So now before you go out in the field, this unit, they require you to actually use this out there. So, whoop, wrong way. Uh, so you got to make sure you put this back on there before you take it back out. Do that by putting the top in first. And you come down to the bottom here. And you just squeeze it right in there. Perfect. OK. OK. And now you can see you're good to go. Um, monitor is ready to be taken out in the field uh, at this point. So now you can see that the, the CO plus, that's that CO null hydrogen sensor in there, that's the one that has the, hyd the hydrogen resistance. So you can see, you're not going to see an actual reading on it here, but when you come into contact with hydrogen in the world, you'll see the hydrogen will go up over here and the CO sensor isn't going to show as much on there. So if you have any questions about this, you know, feel free to give me a call. Uh, the number here is 734 nine five six zero five three nine and my email address you can email us and hit support at idealcalibrations.com and we'll always get back to you uh, make sure to, to like the video follow us on youtube we appreciate it and if you have any questions get in touch thank you much and stay safe out there